Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today I just kind of want to explain what superheat and subcooling is. We did some earlier videos where we figured out how we calculate superheat and subcooling, um, but today we just kind of want to explain exactly what it is and what it means to, to the system overall. So, as I mentioned, anytime we work with refrigerant, we want to make sure that we have eye protection and that we're wearing safety gloves, especially when disconnecting, connecting and disconnecting hoses or gauges. We want to make sure that we don't put ourselves in harm's way um, and then not be able to go back to work. When we talk about superheat and subcooling and what exactly it is, I always like to tell people that, remember this, the blue side of our gauge is going to tell me everything that's happening inside on a split system that would be at the evaporator coil and the high side gauge or the red gauge is going to tell me everything that's happening or what's going on with my outdoor unit. In a very very simple term the easiest way to remember it is superheat is nothing more than heat added to a vapor. We know that inside of our evaporator coil that is where heat is absorbed into the refrigerant and then we know conversely that in our condenser coil heat is rejected from, from the refrigerant. So those two things right there, inside, superheat, heat added to a vapor, outside, subcooling, heat removed from a liquid. It's important to understand and realize that we are not superheating until we have boiled off into a complete vapor at our evaporator coil as we are not subcooling until we have 100% liquid inside of our condenser. Now when you look at that, that in a nutshell is what superheat and subcooling is. There's some fancier textbook definitions that pretty much say the same thing. But I wanted you to, to realize, number one, when we're looking at this gauge and we're looking at our, our temperature gauges set up and we're calculating superheat and subcooling, what part of the system we're looking at. It's giving us a sneak peek as to what's going on on the inside or the indoor unit at the evaporator coil and it's giving us a sneak peek as to what's going on at the outdoor unit or our condenser coil. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you another time. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Um, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely want to hear from you and we'll see you next time.